There is only one star the world talks about these days, known for movies like Pirates of the Caribbean or for his ex-wife, Amber Heard. These two have a history that resulted in both of them in court. And we're all here for the drama. Who deserves to win the trial? What's going to happen with the house where Johnny Depp lost his finger? In fact, what is going to happen with all the houses they own together? So many questions and so few answers. That's why we're here. Let's take a look at all the mansions this movie star owns. Imagine being so rich that you don't buy one, not two, but five Hollywood mansions. Built in 1992, Johnny had bought this luxurious compound only three years ago for $19 million, with a plan to build an underground tunnel system to connect all houses. This property is where the actor spends most of his time, so it's no surprise that he tries to keep these houses as private as possible. However, we managed to get at least some information, so listen carefully. His main mansion is an eight-bedroom gothic home with 10 bathrooms. Yeah, that's it. Anyway, tell us, why does a person need more bathrooms than bedrooms? Well, we are talking about the one and only Johnny Depp, after all. It looks like five is Johnny's lucky number, or not, since he shared these LA penthouses with his ex-wife Amber Heard, with whom his relationship literally brought him to court. This American actress accused him of physical abuse, and it looks like the whole world has the rice stuck on this duo. So feel free to share who you think will win the trial in the comments. My dog stepped on a bee. The split of this couple also affected the LA penthouses, and they were put on the market in 2016. Located in a historic Art Deco building, some of Deb's personal items are still on display there. And we can really say that the whole design of this place just screams Johnny Depp. Just see for yourself. Every inch of the total 11,500 square feet is adjusted to match his artistic soul. For example, a bedroom designed as an art studio or a beautiful rooftop with a pool. We wonder if he felt teary when selling this place, or was he ready to leave the LA penthouses and Amber Heard in the past? Do you know the feeling when you make a decision and then five minutes later you change your mind, but then you realize that the first decision was actually a good one? Well, Johnny Depp knows what we're talking about. In 1995, he bought a $950,000 horse farm and then sold it for $1 million, just so he could buy it again in 2005 for $2 million. This time it wasn't for him, but for his mother as a thank you gift. Surrounded by two horse barns, paddocks, and six bedrooms, this was a perfect place for her final years. After her death, it looks like Edward Scissorhands decided to cut the ropes with his beautiful 41-acre estate and sell it for good. Unless... Owning an entire French village is truly another level of being rich, and it's all we imagined it to be. Magical, picturesque, rustic, and French. Located in the paradisical Côte d'Azur area, the 19th century Provencal hamlet is just 17 miles from the glamorous celebrity magnet Saint-Tropez. Depp purchased this estate in 2001 during his relationship with French actress come singer Vanessa Paradis, and it looks like he was already thinking of kids. In fact, Johnny himself designed a skate park for his son Jack, and of course, he also had to have several pools. This village has everything every single one should have. A church, a restaurant, a town square, but we're pretty sure you won't find any other village with a Pirates of the Caribbean-themed wine cellar or Johnny Depp's art studio. It's pretty weird that when the estate was put back on the market in 2015, it didn't attract any buyers. But lucky for you, because now, you can be the one to own this beautiful French village and former home to Johnny Depp. You just need to have a spare $55.5 million in your pocket. I mean, vault. A big one. Another estate that a star like Johnny just has to have is a private island. This particular one caught his attention while filming Pirates of the Caribbean in 2003 and cost up $3.6 million. Hidden in the azure waters, we can find five beaches named after his children, Lily Rose, Jack, and his former wife, Vanessa. The last two are named Ponzo after the late writer Hunter S. Thompson and Brando after his mentor and friend, Marlon Brando. On these beaches, the actor built a ranch-style residence offering magnificent views of the landscape, perfect for hiding from the rest of the world. Who knows, maybe that's where he'll head to, to forget about the whole scandal with his other ex-wife, Amber Heard. Which of these estates is your favorite one? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything in the real estate world.